Yep, that's right. Iowa becomes the second GOP controlled state this year to pass repeal of child labor protections. <laughs> People are out here, they are, they are actually advocating to have children in these workspaces where you know good and well, kids should be in school learning. They should also be allowed to be children, but also at the same time, they're not safe. In these workspaces, they shouldn't be around adults like that. It's not okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, for more about what's going on in Iowa, we go to Common Dreams. The Republican said she plans to sign Senate File 542, which removes so called unnecessary restrictions that have kept minors from working in hazardous workplaces and from working long hours during the school year. The bill will, was given final, final approval by the state Senate on Wednesday, with just two Republicans joining Democrats in voting against it, defying lobbying campaigns by right wing groups, including Americans for Prosperity and restaurant construction industry groups. Wow, that is really special. And I know that <laughs> Debbie Berkowitz, who is the former OSHA chief of staff, she also saw how absolutely ridiculous this is when she took to Twitter and said this. Why is Ohio endangering children and families? There are plenty of jobs kids can do now. This is more than stunning and in violation of federal child labor rules developed by occupational safety experts during Bush years. This is bad, you're damn right it's bad. And it's absolutely, it's disgusting, but it's so the American way. You know, it's taking us back to those times in the early 1900s where you had kids working in all sorts of facilities, you know, losing hands and being put in danger. Uh, like covered in soot after they were sent down um, chimneys and the whole deal. It's like we banned some of those things because we knew they were not safe for children. So what's changed? Uh, but then again, if we don't care about kids in schools getting shot and killed, then I guess they can go ahead and die early in the workplace. Jackson. I mean, where else do you have left to turn other than to subjugation when there's no more money to collect? You know what I'm saying? Like, how much more money do these people need? Like, the Republican Party is literally bent on subjugating the middle and lower classes. I mean, well, like, how is that not the case? How is restricting abortion beneficial to anyone who isn't wealthy? How does that help anyone whatsoever? That they're they're against a minimum wage, the idea of a minimum wage. The Republican Party, they're against the LGBTQ community. They're against the idea of structural racism. They're against Anything that makes sense, and now the, the unnecessary uh, obstacles in the way of teaching these children how to work with dangerous machinery and take on psychological pressures that they're not mature enough to deal with. It, it's like, you know, what is that other than subjugation? I'm, I'm seriously asking, what are we talking about? Yeah, no, it's it's borderline enslavement of these kids because you're right. They know they can pay them less and they can mistreat them, and those children are less likely to speak up because they don't know any better because they're kids. All it's right. just it's absolutely disgusting. It's a capitalistic way and it's very American.